Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk about some pregnancy things today. Not much of an update on my pregnancy because I do have my appointment tomorrow. And right now I am 25 weeks and I just wanted to do that update after I have my checkup just so I can give you more info on how baby and I are doing. But today I really want to talk about some of the apps that I use on my phone and then the books that... Um, I have been reading throughout my pregnancy as well as the prenatal vitamins that I've been liking using and ones that I just can't stand so books I have just two books that I've been reading um I've been to Barnes and Noble and I tried looking for other books that I want to read but I didn't really find anything that was like really intriguing to me but I think later on in a couple weeks I'm going to buy a book about um, birth just because I just want something to read but yeah I it is a couple more weeks until my last trimester so that is so crazy um the first book I want to talk about is this one I got this one free from my doctor so that's pretty much the reason why I have it when I went for my first official prenatal appointment they gave me this book for free your pregnancy and childbirth month to month and this is the fifth edition so i was super excited when they gave me a book because i just love getting books and getting educated pretty much so this is like my first official book and it kind of sunk in like oh my gosh like <laughs> i'm actually pregnant so it has this really cute picture of baby and it says in the back the information you need from the leading experts in women's health care so it gives you a fully illustrated month-to-month -month guide showing your baby's development and changes in your body. Um, it gives you descriptions of your prenatal visits, tests that you'll be taking, um, info on labor and delivery, and just guidance in a lot of things. And it's all by experts, so it's a book you can trust pretty much. Um, I have been like just following it as I go because that's the only way you can really um, go through it is just kind of following it as you go so like for instance it'll tell you here like what month you're in so I'm in month six so actually you should be here it tells you everything that you need to know it has a lot of information it's really easy to read even it has like a section for like frequently asked questions and it just answers a lot for me and it does have an illustration here too so kind of how your body looks and then how baby's developing inside there so that's the book that I have I said I got it from my healthcare provider but I'm pretty sure you can order it online or you can probably yeah find it online if you wanted to get this one as you can see it's not really a thick book but it also goes into um, uh, let's see any complications that you can have um, medical problems so it also has that in there too and there's a nice um, index in the back so you can look up what you're looking for so I do recommend this it has a lot of information and it gets pretty straight to the point it's not too wordy the next book that I have is pretty much the Bible for pregnancy and you guys probably know what it is but it's the number one best-selling pregnancy book and it's what to expect when you're expecting. I remember my mom having this book and it's just the Bible. So I went right away and I bought this book. And this is the fourth edition. I can tell it's like updated because it has a different picture. I remember the one my mom had had the woman in the rocking chair actually. But it's just like revised and it's new by Heidi Murkoff. And it's just like the Bible. You can see this one's much thicker. Um, I noticed like the words are smaller than my other book. It's a lot more information. It's more detailed. And it does still guide you month to month. So I'm in the sixth month right now. I do have little tabs on things that I want to go to like pretty much. Um, this is about like, what is this? Healthy eating. So I keep my tab on that one. But there are pictures in here too. If you like to have pictures, um, this is all about exercise and <laughs> staying healthy during pregnancy. And yeah, this has a lot of information 
in it. Like, it really, really does. And I highly recommend this book. And definitely get it at any bookstore. They'll have this. In the pregnancy, childbirth, childcare section, you can find this. Um, I got it $14.95. Not bad for a book that gets you through a lot. And it pretty much goes through um, birth and everything, too. And then there's also the one that's after this, What to Expect the First Year, which is probably what I'm going to buy after this one. So those are the only two books that I've been using to kind of educate myself on how my pregnancy is going. As for the apps on my phone, I have three apps right now. They kind of have pros and cons to each one, so that's pretty much what I wanted to go through. Okay, so my very first app that I have is the What to Expect app, which pretty much goes with the book. Um, the reason I like this app so much is because it has videos. So um, week by week, it gives you a video and it tells you about how your baby is growing and how your body's changing and pretty much just the milestones that your baby goes through as it develops. And I think the videos are really good. They're actually by Heidi Murkoff. Um, you see her and um, you see her talking and everything and it's funny because she talks just like how she writes in her book. So it's kind of like a visual, kind of a go-to app that I have on my phone that I can go to rather than, you know, lugging around a book. And I like that it does have um, how you're doing. So it tells me the trimester, my baby's size, and it has a little countdown. And then every day it gives me like little daily tips, articles to read. It's just something that I can read on my phone. And I love that it also has related articles so once I read one article there's some more at the bottom that I can go to that's kind of related so there's always something to read on this app it's very informative so that's why I like it it also has my week so I'm in week 25 it has the video and then um, there's a journal I don't use this but you can like keep a journal of pictures and then community is what I use a lot I, the only group I'm in is the February 2015, so mothers that are going to give birth in that month. So it's pretty much just a forum where anyone can post anything. And I like to look at other people's baby bumps or if um, they're going through the same things I'm going through. Um, I even like to post things too, kind of get feedback. People have been talking about like baby names, so I've been looking through those too and I kind of... Um, found some names that I like through that too so there's a whole bunch of things like that people can post and you kind of just feel connected because people respond to you so that's why this one's my favorite app to go to it's really easy to use the second app I have is baby bump um, I saw that a friend of mine had this so I just got it but I don't use it as much it just has the daily tip that I read every day and then I just kind of track my baby bump photos. This is the app that I use for that mostly. Other than that, there's more, there's a lot more features, but I don't use it honestly. Um, you can put down your pregnancy information. There's a journal. You can message people. You can even shop on here, but I don't really use those features. I pretty much just use it to track my baby bump as well as just like the little information daily tips that they have on it the last one i have is baby center just because i saw that this is the one that it's judy time used it's pretty interesting i don't like it that much because it's kind of confusing just how the app is just vertical like this but i do put my baby bump pictures in here too and just kind of go through it and see if there's any interesting articles that i want to read so again there's other features on here that you guys can go check out it's just an app. All of them are free, by the way. And you can upgrade them if you want more um, features. But those are the ones that I use because I know that some people were asking me. And yeah, they're all on my phone. They're really easy to access. And when I just have downtime, I just like to read and see how baby's doing. Kind of educate myself, pretty much. So as for prenatal vitamins, from the day I was at the doctor where I found out I was pregnant, the first thing they did was um, prescribe me to some prenatal vitamins and it was kind of just like here you go take these it was really fast and I was like okay I guess I'm taking prenatals now 
but um, this is the one that they gave me. I just wanted to go through pretty much all the prenatals that was given to me and the ones that I've tried just so I can tell you my experience and like it's pretty much the different varieties of type of prenatals that you can try. So anyways this one they gave me is by Nature's Blend prenatal formula multivitamin multimineral supplement for before during and after pregnancy so this one is probably the best value you get a hundred tablets and just for my copay I guess for my medical it was only $7.25 so that's pretty cheap for a hundred tablets only thing with this one is that it was really hard for me to take um, because I was <laughs> Okay, in the first couple weeks, I had no problem taking it. I used a pill cutter to cut it in half because they're really big pills, in my opinion. <clears throat> and they're, they're slightly coated. But if you can see how big that is, yeah. And they just have that kind of vitamin grassy smell. So... Yeah, that's kind of big for me because I honestly am not good at swallowing large pills. So I cut it in half. I had no problem taking it for the first couple weeks. And then after that is when I started getting really sick. And I really couldn't take this. Like, just mentally trying to swallow it, I just couldn't do it. So it's a great value. If you're totally okay with taking large pills and no problem, then... I would recommend this because it pretty much has all the supplements that you need in it. It's pretty much packed with everything that you need. So, yeah, this one also has calcium on top of that. Calcium, iron, everything that you need in there. So this was recommended to me from my doctor. This one didn't work out for me, so I got this one. As you can see, it's empty. I used it all. I got this one from Walmart, so it's easy to access. It's Vitafusion, so it's their prenatals, and I was so excited to find this. The only thing is I think it was kind of pricey. It was about $14, so twice as much as the other one, and this one only came with 90 gummies. But I understand that gummies would be a little more expensive. Um, yeah, But it does have DHA, folic acid, and just a multivitamin in a gummy. And this one is lemon and... Lemon and raspberry lemonade flavors. And I was so obsessed with lemonade, so I was excited to find this. And yeah, the only thing about this one is it's kind of sour. They have this like sour coating on top of it, which was kind of a weird taste. I remember when I first had it, I used to smell it, and it was like a weird smell for me. But I ended up taking it just because it was a gummy and I could just chew it and swallow it, no problem. But this one, yeah, is more geared toward prenatals because it just do does have DHA and folic acid. So I did like this one a lot. It was a little pricey just for 90 gummies, especially because you need to take two of them. So this one will only last you like 45 days. Yeah. Yeah, servings per bottle, 45. So you take two of these. Um... It has omega-3 DHAs, folic acid, excellent source of vitamins A, C, and D, and has prenatal support. I know that there are mixed reviews of this online, but this is what worked for me, and this is what I use. Still on the hunt for like the perfect prenatal that was maybe a little bit cheaper, so I heard about this one on reviews on my app. And this is one a day woman's prenatal. That's how it looks. I saved the box to show you guys just how it looks. So it looks like that. Um, this is great because you can use it while you're trying to conceive, during pregnancy, after pregnancy, while breastfeeding. And again, it tells you it has DHA and folic acid. Um, and DHA supports healthy fetal brain and eye development. Gives you 100% of the recommended daily value of folic acid. So that's how this one looked. And I chose this one because it said it was a soft gel. And soft gels are supposedly easier to swallow. Again, the con of this is it only gives you 30 soft gels. And you just take one. So it only lasts you a month. And I have to go and double check how much I paid for this. But I'm pretty sure it was 
like 10 to 14 dollars and it does have just this nasty kind of pill smell even though it's in a soft gel it's a soft gel but it's still big that's the only con let's see how big that one is yes yeah, about a about a little less than an inch long but yeah it's a soft gel still I have problems taking this too it depends on how I feel that day sometimes I'll try to take it and it works and some days I just can't so I just keep this because I already bought it but that's just my opinion on this one if you're totally okay with soft gels it reminds me of taking the soft gels from NyQuil it's about that size but yeah this one it only comes with 30 but if you really want to have a soft gel and one a day is really a great brand. The one that I'm taking now, this is the same people that made the other gummy prenatal um, Vitafusion. But this is just a regular vitamin. It's not specifically prenatal vitamins. But this one was just a better value and I heard that you can just take regular vitamins. Yeah, so... This one is a complete multivitamin gummy, has berry, peach, and orange flavors. I got this from Costco. I know it was a really good deal. I think this was only like $10 and it gives you 250 gummies and you take two each day. Um, so it does have pretty much a really good source of vitamins A, C, D, and E. It does have folic acid in here and it's much easier to take. This one doesn't have that weird sour coating on it. It actually tastes really good and it smells good. So this tastes like actual real gummies. So I like this. I could take it twice a day, no problem. So that's what I've been taking. I'm kind of like halfway through this. But I felt like this was a better deal and it did give me enough that I needed for my prenatals. So those are the books I've been reading, the apps I've been using just to educate myself on my pregnancy journey and then those are the prenatals that I have been going through and I just wanted to kind of give my opinion on them and if you guys was looking into any prenatals then those are just some options that I've used and my opinion um, if you guys could let me know if you have any books to recommend for um, childbirth then just let me know I'll go look those up and if you guys have anything you guys want to add to the video then leave it down in the comments I'll be sure to read them and if you guys have questions, I am going to be doing a Q&A pretty soon. I just have to gather more questions. So just leave them down in the comments and I'll answer them in a later video. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.